Hey everyone, so today we're going to go through my wish list for 2023. Now we all know these handbags cost a lot of money. Some of them are in budget, some of them are not, but that's what a wish list is for. So we can just imagine the bags we want. And I have a special guest here with me. So this is Lucy. And she's my Labrador and she's turning eight years old. Okay, so with my wish list, I've got three brands on there and we're going to group the bags by brand. So I've got Louis Vuitton, Chanel and Hermes. So let's start with Louis Vuitton. Okay, so I love the special order Damier Ben vintage pieces. I don't have any yet, but I've been looking at them for years. The price just keeps going up, up and up. Now the one that I'm looking at at the moment is the special order Damier Ben Marley Bandelier. Now there's lots of the monogram Marley Bandelier on the pre-love market. You can get it from eBay, Farfetch, Fashion File, lots and lots of places. But I really want the special Damier Ben special order version. This comes with a red leather interior. It's so gorgeous. So what special order means is that if you were a VIP client back in the day, now you could probably still do this for the super VIPs now, is that if there was a particular bag in production, but they wanted it made in a different canvas, or if it was a canvas bag and they wanted it made in epi leather or vice versa, they could actually speak to their client advisor and ask them if it could be made special order for them in the leather or the canvas print that they wanted. And these are the bags that I love and covet. Okay, so bag number two is the Varthen PM. Now I featured this bag in my iconic vintage Louis Vuitton bags, which I'll link up above and in the description box down below. But it's this dinky little cute top handle bag, monogram print. I just want the standard one. There's a couple of other special edition ones too, but I just want the standard monogram one. Now it does come sometimes with a crossbody strap. A lot of them on the second hand market don't have a crossbody strap anymore. And the great thing about it is the interior actually comes with a bit of organization built in. You don't have to put a bag organizer in. It already has some compartments along the lining there so that you can put your stuff in a nice organized fashion. It's so dinky cute. Now these are a bit expensive on the pre-love market at the moment. So for now, I'll just keep saving up and thinking about it. Okay, so bag number three in Louis Vuitton is the Mabillon backpack. Now I do really want a vintage Louis Vuitton backpack and I like the shape of the Mabillon one. It's not too big, not too small. And I actually saw it in real life on a girl and she looks so good with it. And the backpack, the gold hardware against the noir epi leather was just gorgeous. It comes with like an Alcantara micro suede lining inside and she was so kind enough to open the bag and show me what the interior looked like as well. One day, one day, don't have enough money for everything, just slowly collect the bags. Okay, so next brand, let's move over to Chanel. So the first bag I have in my wish list, and now these vintage Chanel bags don't always have names, but this is a flat bag, a vintage flat bag, which comes with a built-in wallet. Now it's kind of in between the size of the small classic flap and the medium classic flap. And it has this really nice border pattern on the flap as well, and also along the base of the bag. For me, it's a good alternative for the classic flap bag. And also more unique, I really like the details they have there. And I really like this gorgeous old lady purse wallet that comes built in. And if you look at the interior, it actually has a snap button for that little wallet to be snapped into a bag and it acts as a compartment inside the wallet as well. So this bag comes in a couple of different colors like black and navy and it's got that real vintage gold 24 karat plated hardware. For me, oh, it just looks gorgeous. Can be worn doubled up, can be worn long shoulder because it does have the four grommets. Okay, and next up is the Chanel Kelly Vintage in the small size. This is such a cute little top handle bag and it's got these big rings for the top handle so that you can attach the strap if you want to. I just love the cuteness of this bag, the versatility and that luscious vintage Chanel lambskin leather. Oh, 
it's just so delicious. Now these are really expensive, going for three, four thousand US dollars at the moment, which means it's like five to seven thousand Australian dollars. This really is a wish list item. I can just wish about it. It's probably not actually going to happen with my current economic climate. But hey, that's what wish lists are for. So we can just imagine. Okay, and next up is Hermes. So what I want from Hermes is the Fun Spell bag. Now some of you may have never heard of this bag before, but I actually featured it in my top five vintage Hermes alternatives to Hermes's most popular bags. And I actually have this bag as an alternative to the popular Hermes Rouli bag. Because if you look at them side by side, they have a really similar look and that kind of iconic subtle hardware at the front. The Fon Spell is really understated, but for me also really just hits the mark on what I'm looking for in a vintage bag. We've got a flap, we've got compartments, we've got history, we've got glorious leather, we've got subtlety, oh, just gorgeous. Okay guys, so what do you think of my wish list items? Have you seen them before? Are you interested in any of them? What's on your wish list? Leave me a comment down below. What brand, what bag? Maybe I can check them out too. You never know, they might end up on my wish list too. Okay guys, so from Lucy and I, see you in the next one. Bye.